Brienne Goodsell sparked a new crocodile management plan in Australia. After her tragic death, a lot of Australians were reminded that day that the wildlife can be very unpredictable. Are you aware of the potential dangers lurking in the water? On March 16, 2009, 11-year-old Brienne Goodsell, her younger sister Bethany Goodsell, who was 7 years old, and their friend Numi Lang were playing at their home in the rural outskirts of Darwin. Despite the unpredictable weather, the girls were enjoying their free time on that Sunday. March is a temperamental month at the top end of the Northern Territory in Australia, being the last month of the wet season, which makes floods and cyclones a possibility. Although exploring the outdoors can be exhausting in such weather, for children, the whole world is a wonderful adventure. The four of them got on their bikes and pedaled away, enjoying an honest day of fun. They didn't plan on venturing too far from their home, just to a nearby spot where they could swim. Brienne and her friends called the location Creek Crossing Black Jungle, and they had swam there many times before, so they were familiar with the area. Based on their understanding and past experiences, they believed there was no cause for concern in the waters. Part of the area was accessible to the public, including young children who wanted to play in the water. The Black Jungle Conservation Reserve, where Brienne and her friends embarked on their adventure, is the reserve's wetland habitat that supports a large number of wildlife, and its open woodland savanna, moonsun rainforest, and swamps provide rich habitats for numerous species, including formidable saltwater crocodiles. On that particular Sunday, Brienne Goodsell, her sister Bethany, and their friends Numi and Aiden initially swam on the public side of the fence but later decided to venture further downstream to another crossing located inside the reserve. This new creek crossing had a deeper, slower-moving pool of water. To reach this new spot, the four children had to go through a wire boundary fence and walk a short distance. Despite the reserve's reputation as a habitat for dangerous species, there were no warnings about the possibility of crocodile activity in the area. However, as the reserve rangers knew, there was plenty of crocodile activity within the reserve, especially during the wet season. Despite this, the rangers were unaware that people were swimming in the reserve. Public access was strictly prohibited, which meant that from their perspective, the chances of interaction between crocodiles and humans were low. Nevertheless, people were swimming there. After deciding to swim elsewhere, the kids eventually arrived at a creek crossing inside Black Jungle Reserve. Although the water levels were high as they had expected, the creek was also flowing fast. Any adult would have hesitated to get into the water and most likely would not have entered the water at all. The conditions were perfect for drowning. But these were just kids, the youngest of whom was only 7 years old, while the oldest was 12. Children are not always the best at assessing potential dangers. And in this case, these particular kids were unaware of the crocodiles in the area. Despite the potential risks, a group of four entered the water around 5.30 p.m and began to play and swim. However, their fun was abruptly interrupted when 11-year-old Brienne Goodsell began to scream for help. The other children turned to her to see her struggling to stay afloat and noticed a tail emerging from the water. It was a crocodile. One of the friends initially thought Brienne was caught in a vine, but the truth was far more terrifying. As the crocodile disappeared back into the water, their friend yelled, Crocodile! and they searched for the other children, only to find that Brienne had disappeared. The children frantically exited the water and alerted the authorities. A search for Brienne was initiated by the police, and the next day, human remains and a pair of shorts were discovered, 1,400 feet away from where the girl had vanished. DNA testing confirmed that the remains belonged to Brienne, and Coroner Greg Cavanaugh determined that her death resulted from a saltwater crocodile attack by a crocodile that was roughly 10 feet long. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest living reptiles and the most aggressive crocodile species. As apex predators, they prey on any living creature within their reach. Despite the search efforts conducted on Monday, the search for the crocodile responsible for the attack was called off on Tuesday. This decision was based on the belief of the rangers that the crocodile had retreated into a floodplain, rendering the search impossible. Floodplains are notorious for being infested with crocodiles, which made it unlikely for authorities to locate the exact animal that killed Brian Goodsell. An investigation revealed that the residents living in the area were unaware of the presence of crocodiles in the creek. The only person who seemed to be aware of the potential danger was a resident who had swum in the same waters before. Brian's mother, Charlene O'Sullivan, argued that the wording of the sign accessed by permit only was misleading. 
She believed that the kids might have assumed the sign indicated that vehicles in the hunting were prohibited, but not entering the area on foot. However, signs indicating prohibited activities such as swimming were added later, and all entry gates to the reserve were filled with crocodile warning signs. Following Brianne's death, authorities reviewed and adjusted the saltwater crocodile management plan, but discouraged crocodile culling. According to Coroner Greg Cavanaugh, the current management plan, prepared and approved by the Northern Territory government, promises increased attention and efforts towards public safety. Brianne's family has requested privacy to grieve their immense loss. In a statement, they described Brianne as a beautiful, innocent, and fearless child who touched many lives. The family also referred to Brianne's death as a tragic accident, stating that children may not always see possible dangers and that no one should be blamed for the tragedy.